Hello and welcome to the episode 197 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. A massive studio recording for BBC, a friend saying goodbye, and more work on two Harrison originals will be the focus of today's episode. Let's start with some very early day action first. On the 16th of July 1960, the Silver Beatles performed at the Grosvenor Barroom in Walsey for another show arranged by their manager Alan Williams. The band featured Norman Chapman on drums, George Harrison, John Lennon and Paul McCartney on guitar and voice, and Stu Sutcliffe on bass. One year later, in 1961, the Beatles, now with Paul on bass and Pete Best on drums, performed the first of three Sunday night events organized by Peak Promotions at the Blair Hall in Liverpool. The same lineup of the band was busy with a double feature in 1962, performing the usual lunchtime concert at the Cavern Club in Liverpool, plus an evening gig at the Plaza Ballroom in St. Helens. Big Day 1963 not being able to make it for a first planned session at the scheduled time of 10.30 am, the Beatles decided to cram the recording sessions of BBC radio show Pop Go The Beatles between 3 and 10.30 pm. Show 8, 9 and 10 went then recorded today at the BBC Paris studio in London. The band recorded 18 songs, pretty much all one take only, taping their usual upbeat banter for each show on top of that. Even just saying it, I mean no by the feet. The three shows were broadcast on the 6th, the 13th and on the 20th of August, respectively, all between 5 and 5.29 pm. The guests were the Swinging Blue Jeans for show 8, the Hollies for show 9 and Ross Sainty and the New Notes for show 10. The Beatles performed I'm Gonna Sit Right Down and Cry over You. Crying, waiting, hoping, Kansas City, hey, 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 to know her is to love her, the honeymoon song and twist and shout for show 8. Long told Sally, please, please me, she loves you, you really got a hold on me, I'll get you and I got a woman for show 9. And words of love, glad all over. I just don't understand, there's a devil in her heart and slow down for show 10, which also included a re-airing of show 9's She Loves You. On the 16th of July 1968, we find the Beatles busy with another recording session, this time working at the EMI Studios between 4 pm and 2 am. The Fab Four recorded 10 takes of the rhythm track of Cry Baby Cry, a song they had rehearsed for six hours on the previous day. After the basic track was down, and after two reduction mixes, a harmonium, played by producer George Martin, and a piano, played by John Lennon, were overdubbed on the final result. The session was remarkable for another reason, though. It was today that engineer and longtime collaborator Jeff Emerick decided to stop working with the Beatles for the time being. Funny, but I can't stop reminding you to share this podcast with your friends. Help me to gather a bigger community of music lovers that might enjoy my music related content the way you do. It takes a second, but if you have a bit more time to kill, please head to www.simonmas.com support to see what more can be done. Thank you for being fab and to bear with me once again. Let's close the episode with another double studio session in 1969. Working again in Abbey Road's Studio 3 from 2.30 to 7.00 pm and Studio 2 from 7.00 pm to 12.30 am, the Beatles overdubbed hand claps and harmonium on take 15 of Here Comes the Sun, and lead vocals, backing vocals and hand clapping on something, scrapping a reduction mix of the track, previously completed on the 11th of July, 
and producing two more such mixes to allow for new recordings to be done today and for the orchestral overdubs for which George Martin was preparing the score. Both sessions were produced by Glyn Jones and both saw the Beatles still orphan of John Lennon. This leaves me with a task to introduce tomorrow's episode, which will feature the world premiere of the Yellow Submarine film. Tune in for that and more stories about the four you love. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.